Kathy Wood just talked on CNBC about the massive returns that we are looking at getting over the next year. Now, I realize this might sound a little bit weird because we've just been getting pounded and pounded and pounded in the stock market every single day. It seems like we're catching a left hook or a right hook, but I want to go through her interview and I'm not going to hold out on you here. I'm going to talk about why she thinks that we're going to see massive returns right at the beginning. And then I'm just going to go through some of the other points that they talk about in this interview. And I think the whole thing's very valuable, but I'm not going to make you sit around through the whole thing. So if you guys don't mind just hitting the like button, I really appreciate that. If you guys want to help out the channel, it is Friday. So if you want to do something nice before the weekend, you can check out the link down below to Weeble to get some free stocks. Or if you want to check out my Patreon, there's a link down there too. So first of all, they talked about uh, just the stock market going down in general, right? The growth stocks, like all the stocks that they've seen and that they've invested in, Teladoc, Peloton, Tesla, these have all gone down pretty significantly. I mean, a lot of them, a lot of the stocks that they hold have gone down 50% plus. So uh, she talks about how she actually thinks this rotation is good. This is healthy. It would be very unhealthy if we kept on seeing this, this continuation into growth. And she thinks that because of this, it's actually going to increase the returns. And that's kind of something that I have been thinking too. As the market continues to stay down and seems to keep on, you know, keep on hitting a support, coming up a little bit, then falling through that support. As that happens, we just are seeing better and better prices. So while they used to talk about looking for a 15% return, recently they said 20 to 25% return instead. Now they actually even up this from there. They're saying 25 to 30% return annually over the next five years. So instead of 3Xing in five years, they're expecting or hoping to actually 4X. So that's where we're at now. And that's what I've been thinking as time goes on. Like we see some of these stocks that are at such low levels that it's just getting more and more attractive to buy them every single day, it seems like. So the rotation is actually good in that way. She's actually getting more bullish on the market as time goes on. Next, they kind of asked her thoughts about Tesla autopilot crashes. I know that's been in the news a lot over the last month. And they say, is this something that concerns you? She said, well, you have to consider the alternative. The alternative is that we drive ourselves, <laughs> that, that we continue to do this, even though the autopilot is going to be much more efficient. 80% of fatalities are from humans. So she says they think in the next two years, they'll see massive breakthroughs and they'll be far ahead of the competition there. So kind of what we've talked about on the channel before too. It sounds terrible when someone dies from autopilot, but the chances of that are much less. It's a very small percentage of people that are likely to die from autopilot as opposed to actually driving. Next, they ask her her thinking on stocks like Peloton, Etsy, Teladoc, Zoom. She, she has invested very heavily in some of these stay-at-home stocks that have done quite well over the last year. And they said they're stay at home stocks and they continuously sell off. What is your thinking behind this? She says, yes, many of them have been cut in half, but that kind of leads back to what we were talking about before with the decrease in prices. However, she doesn't think we're returning to that old normal. These companies have harvested a lot of data. Data is kind of the future. They think that we will continue on this new path and they're talking constantly about their hybrid system of going back to work and how she thinks that these companies will still continuously lead the pack and continue to grow. Next, they talk about why Apple. So in good times, when we see bull runs, they buy a little bit of some of these more defensive fang stocks. And they want to ask her why she's selling them off now. Like why is she selling Apple right now? Well, she says that they put some of the money into these more defensive fang stocks because in down markets, these hold up pretty well. I mean, we've seen that with Apple. We've seen that with Amazon. They haven't moved in like seven months, eight months. So they really haven't moved much. And she said, basically, as the market drops, we will sell some of those FANG stocks and put it into these more volatile stocks that are getting hit really hard. And I've done that so far over the last couple months with some index funds. I sold some index funds that were at all-time highs to put into some higher growth plays. Now, one way that I've been doing this too and I think about this for both the stock market and for cryptos too, because we're in like a bull market in crypto. So many people are flocking to it. And while I think crypto is going to do really well, 
I've been putting some money in GUSD, so there is a link down there to BlockFi. Basically what it is, is it's a stable coin. It's tied to the US dollar, so it doesn't fluctuate in price. And right now BlockFi pays 10% APY. So it's pretty much like getting the return of an index fund without the volatility, right? It's not based on the stock market at all or any market. It's just tied to the US dollar. So you can put your money there and they pay you 10%. They pay you every single month. If we see some kind of downturn in cryptos, I put the money into cryptos. If we saw a downturn in the market, in the stock market, even more than here, and I really needed some money, I've been banking up this 10% return and I can just move it out of there and put it in the stock market. Now, moving it to cryptos is very quick. It's like, like a minute. I can just go on there and buy it. With the stock market, it would take a day or two for it to settle into your account. They're also giving you a $250 bonus for doing that. But that's kind of what I'm thinking. With real estate, I'm considering doing the same thing, putting more money in GUSD on that and getting a very nice APY. And I'm going to do the same thing, I think, for, for the stock market too. So that's just why I'm considering, again, stock. Uh, the, the link for that is down below. They asked about the Archegos scandal next. So if you don't know about that, there are massive leverage on a fund basically it sunk the stock market for a couple days it, it caused massive sell-offs people were wondering about how leveraged these hedge funds these hedge funds actually are and they had heard that that guy that was behind that was actually a backer of arc invest and they wanted to know about that so she says they actually met through church they were both advisors that were helping out young financial services uh professionals in the industry back in 2013 they started talking stocks and she was talking about netflix stock a pretty exciting stock at the time. And he got really interested in it. He wasn't really investing in American stocks at all. And he decided that he was going to put some money in there. So uh, they had this kind of relationship where they respected each other. And then she had, I don't know if she reached out to him or he reached out to her, but she was going to set up these ETFs. And he actually provided the seed uh, capital for those four ETFs. So that was kind of a mutually beneficial relationship there. Obviously, she's returned him a great deal in terms of money appreciation. Uh, and then she said that they haven't spoken recently. She did send him a note when uh, when the scandal happened, but she hasn't been in contact with him. She appreciates what he did early on in their relationship, but they haven't talked really too much since then. They asked whether she actually knew if he had any money still in the ETFs. They mentioned, you know, People are probably, or banks are probably going to be looking for that capital somehow. I don't know why she would say if there was capital. I'm not even sure she could say that on on TV like that. But uh, she basically said, no, we haven't had any conversation, like I said before. So they kind of tried to get her on a couple different things, like trying to make her slip up, I think, which was weird. I mean, CNBC does that sometimes. There's one anchor. I don't know his name, but he does that constantly. He just like kind of berated one of the ARC analysts on Bitcoin one time too, which was really uh, frustrating to watch. It was kind of hard to watch, but that is where we're at today. I, I am with them that I think the returns now over the coming five years are going to be much better. And I think a lot of people are discouraged in the stock market because first of all cryptos are exploding like dogecoin can go up 100x in a couple months but great companies with uh, with steady cash flows are doing poorly in some instances so i think some people are getting frustrated but over the long term this is much safer than some other types of investments such as some types of cryptocurrency and the thing is too we can only go through a bear market so long on the other side uh, because we still are expecting a lot of growth here in the next couple of years. On the other side is a lot of upside potential. So while it sucks to see our prices stay low, I talked about this before uh, in, a, in a previous video, pay a high price for having that that pat on the back where your stock price goes up and you know it's great, you feel great, you feel super smart. You pay a high price for that because if you buy any more at that price, it's much more expensive. So it gets riskier and riskier as the price goes up and as euphoria starts. But as the price goes lower and lower and people are feeling worse and worse, you should be excited, especially if you have money. If you don't have money, you know, just go take a walk in my opinion. But I, I, I say that, you know, knowing that some people really are hurt by this like emotionally, but sometimes you just need to take away, uh, take a step away from the screen and realize the economy is in a really good place. A lot of these stocks are still growing profits, growing business very well. 
So that is my thinking on it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for hitting the like button. Thank you for checking out BlockFi and Weeble. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.